Hey, Yo, man, what's, what's up? Man? What's going on, man? What's going on, man? How you? I'm doing good, man. How you? We going so well? Starting out somewhere. Man, I've been waiting on this episode right here, man. <laughs> I've been waiting Same, on this. Man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I definitely want to learn from his experience. Uh, like I said, I, I, like I told you before we uh, decided to bring him. I've been doing it for about a year, man. Um, I haven't done any sightings. I did some some low key notaries, but uh, uh, a little really? bit good to learn from this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, yeah, so it'd be good to hear from his experience, man. Kind of take some gems from him, and better, better improve my business, man, around here in the Fort Mill area. That's what's up. Well, I just want to let everybody know that's on right now. We are some Carolina guys that love to talk about business and just uplifting the community. And uh, today we got a special guest, Mister E K Chuku Agoha. I mean, he's gonna bless us with some stuff talking about notary. <laughs> And uh, loan signing. And so mm -hmm. today's episode is sponsored by nobody. But if you want to see him, <laughs> we work that out for the next episode. <laughs> We're going to have somebody to fill in that blank soon. Yeah, so, man. Soon later, man. Somebody yeah. to fill in that blank. <laughs> so, man, I, I've, been, I've been really looking forward to this, man. Um, you know, there's a lot yeah. of... Uh, a lot of careers out there that some people have no idea they even exist. And I think this is one of them. Right, right. Yeah, so... Um, hey, and the funny thing about that, it's a lot of us doing it. You know what I'm saying? Not to be mm -hmm. like... like to see, But just being observant. Yeah. It's a lot of us doing that. Yeah, but go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> oh, you good, man. You good. Uh, how'd you get started? But first of all, how'd you hear about it and then how'd you get started? Um. So... Uh, during the pandemic, the pandemic was, uh, you know, very tragic, you know, yeah. but the pandemic has been a blessing, you know, in a disguise, you know, in a, in a lot, in a lot of ways. And like on a spiritual level for me and like in like real life. So uh, I just feel like God shook up a whole lot of areas at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so God, it's like, I always wanted to invest, right? Yeah. I always wanted to invest. So um, I had got my opportunity during the uh, pandemic. Everything went down and stuff like that. And I was like, and I had, you know, I had some money that I had in this 401k from like a previous job. I was like, yo, I'm buying Tesla. That's when Tesla and um, <laughs> Apple <laughs> had split. So I was like, yes, we're buying Tesla, we're buying Apple. So got in and stuff like that. So, so during that course, um, uh, what's it called? Clubhouse came yeah. out, mm -hmm. and so people was like, so we like a lot of a lot of people that I know was getting in, into investing and stuff like that, and we'll just meet up on Clubhouse. So this guy, so we was talking about money, this the uh, uh, money team. Shout out to Amp and all those guys and um, <clears throat> Daryl and those people like that. It's good. So the dude named Daryl, he's in the the group that we're in. So um, and he's like. Cause we, cause we trying to figure out a way to put more money in the market. Cause it's just like crazy, you know, all the stuff that we learn and stuff like that. Games is going crazy, so, so we try to come up with like side hustles and stuff like that. And so he was like, "Yo, man, y'all should try, like check, uh, check out uh, being a mobile no uh, notary." And I was like, "What in the world is that?" <laughs> <laughs> so he he starts to tell tell me, uh, "Yeah, man, <laughs> exactly." So he he starts to tell me about um. Yeah, man, I just I just get alerts to my phone, and then I go down the street, you know, hit a stamp, about five minutes, I got 20 mm -hmm. bucks. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. uh, he was like, yeah, man, I did this thing <laughs> where, you know, I did, right at this point, I didn't know what a what a uh, loan signing was. You know, so he's like, yeah, I just go notarize a bunch of documents and mail it off, and I get like 100 bucks. I was like, huh? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Wow! Wait a minute. That that simple. <laughs> what is that? That simple for sure. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> right. So hey, I want to give a that, shout out the uh, Mr. Pat Coltrane in the comments, man. Shout out to Pat. Oh, Coltrane, what a, what it is? <laughs> That's my guy. He was out. He came out. He came out here to kick it with the boy on the sand. So it was good with you, Pete. Okay. Pete, Pete Coltrane. <laughs> oh man! But hey, yeah, so that guy? um. I'm I'm sorry, man. I want to give this context though. Uh, me and me and Ek, we go way back, man, to childhood. We grew up in the same neighborhood as at some point. Yeah, okay. And known for years, man. 
Good news. Right. I was tell I was telling somebody about that earlier. I was like, yo, it's crazy, man. Like how you know people we we branch off and then we kind of meet back come up. Back. Yeah. At the, you know, come together in life at some point. That junk is crazy. Uh, but yeah. Um, so yeah. So he told me that junk. So I just get on internet, YouTube first. You know, what I'm saying you got to YouTube everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So start pull up all this information. It's just a, um, um, it's just like a bunch of people who, kind of like just started. So, so it's like a lot of people kind of started around the same. So I, I, I feel like I kind of got on, it around like the peak or like the, I guess like the fall in action if we in school of, this notary, uh, burst I would say. Yeah. So, um, so. I figure out how to do it, um, how to, you know, get commission and go through all the steps and stuff like that. And then I start, and um, and so I'm just talking with my man, Daryl from, and he's on the West coast. So he's doing this over there and, um, the laws are different. So uh, mm -hmm. you definitely gotta like follow the, um, uh, the laws for your state. So I'm talking with him. He's just telling me such and such and such and such. And like my stuff ain't get going yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just, you know, uh, applying to all these, um, these services, these um, uh, the signing services, which they the one who like give you work. Mm -hmm. This like is crazy. It's like a oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, so I, I do that. So and then it just starts go. It just it just picks up. I get one sign. I get two. Mm -hmm. I get three. And then it just just keeps going. It's kept going, man. That thing was just. I think it's it's amazing. <laughs> and then it allows you to be like to have a business. You mm -hmm. know, like. You know, like you say, man, I want to get me a business and kind of like, you know, do the thing and stuff like that. Be, you know, uh, start your life in a, the professional world. So this allows you to do that at a very low cost. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And you're like a, a, like you're like a vital instrument of your, like your community mm -hmm. because without you, you, a lot of stuff will get ha like a, a lot of houses was won't get closed on. Uh, like okay, so I did like this job, right? I didn't even know that you could do this. So I did this job. I get this alert to do this bank safe job. So they were closing a Bank of America, and so in the safety deposit boxes, you have to like notarize the things, the contents that were in, and wasn't in there. Mm. So that has to be like notarized. Mm. Never knew that. They paid me <laughs> two hundred seventy-five dollars a day. To do that, wow, dang, two seventy five a day, <laughs> <laughs> man. I, I did this for man. five days. Oh shit, mm. man. That was wow. like, a, a yeah. like like eleven $1 hundred or something like that. I didn't even know this this could happen. Yeah, I never, so, I, ain't, so I ain't heard it once. Oh, go ahead, Tio. No, I said I never heard of the bank. I don't think I heard you can do auto, you can do house loan, you know, and you get something noted. But I ain't never heard of the bank safe. That's that's a new one right there. Man, because you're a commission notary, like, like they, there are documents in every sector that need to be notarized, mm -hmm. and so in like, and so like the the process of you you put your name on these registries, and like on um on uh like these signing services and stuff, the people that send you alerts like Snap Docs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, a lot okay. of them. yeah. Most people go through Snap Docs. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So um, companies go to like the snap docs and stuff like that, and they're looking for what they're looking for. So let's say if they need a title runner or something like that, or like a title, you know, from whatever, they're going to call this registry like, hey, y'all got some notaries, so I just need something like this sign, whatever, and they pay whatever, and then the service pay you for doing it, you know. And yeah. it's just like that, man. I think it's crazy. <laughs> Is this a, a full time job or is it a side hustle or, or what? It could be it could be both. It's been people in this industry that have been doing it for like twenty and thirty years. Like oh. before. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that joke mm -hmm. is crazy to me because it's it seems so new and so but still like so unknown. Mm -hmm. Like I, I still walk with people that's like a uh, yeah, I'm a, a notary or whatever, and they be like, huh? What's that? <laughs> yeah. It's so it's so What's easy that? to it's easy to get into. So like what where you in Virginia, right? 
Yeah. So how much was like your start? Like you said, it's a low cost. That was one of the reasons why I got into it. So how much was it for you to like start up, like getting commission and they get like your stamps and everything? Like total, how much that for you? Just to kind of show people like how easy it is to get in. So I actually took notes because I, <laughs> I made a, uh, <laughs> a video yeah on my youtube because i, I started a run because you know with the process i'm getting to your question i'm sorry yeah I, no I you go ahead it. man it's all <laughs> you man you're good it's all you but the, the, the following the stock market expanded my my thinking when it comes to like a business because you have to you have to you have to dive into a company to figure out um if it works like for an investment for you mm -hmm. so in the, in the best way for companies like like every company that that's successful they do something at scale so um that's what i wanted to do with this company mm -hmm. so and the way to do that is is to become a ron like an online notary so you could just stay mm -hmm. at home and do it all the time See, I don't, like I don't you can do that i don't think you can do that in the essay i wish you could though yeah, it's just not available in all states. Mm, I think yeah. uh, Texas, Virginia, Florida, and is it Texas, Virginia, Florida. That's another option. It's like a handful. But, uh, it's saying it's not many. Yeah. 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 But it's 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 gonna it's 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 gonna it's, it's gonna get adopted. Like it's the wave, man. Like the, yeah, the metaverse. Of the pandemic, all this stuff. Yeah, with the pandemic too, man. Nobody <laughs> really trying to go out there. Right, right, right. Yeah. All right. So I get my commission. The commission to the state is forty five dollars, okay. and then after that comes back, you got to go get it from uh, the, the the office downtown, whatever it's called. Like, and so you go down, you got to pay ten dollars, pick that up, mm -hmm. and then so then you got to apply through the NNA. So they have like different packages. Like you can get like all like your E because you got to get insurance, the E and O mm -hmm. insurance. And you have to pay your application fee, and then I think if you want to get supplies and stuff like that, you don't yeah. need to buy no supplies from there. That stuff can come later. Um, yeah. So you do that. So that's about like I said, one thirty-five. That's like with my E and O insurance stuff like that. So bam, you're ready to go. You get all that stuff back. You're ready to stamp some stuff. You know. So, um, but to become a loan signer agent, you have to apply. Uh, again, because that's like on a different level because you're doing like real estate transactions and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, um, and then that requires some training. So, like the NNA have like this training that you can do and stuff like that because you got to pass a test for that mm -hmm. one. But yep. for, just to be commissioned in Virginia, there's no test. I think in South Carolina, you got to pass a test, right? Nah, it's North Carolina you got to pass. So, South Carolina, man, I don't think I did. I pretty much applied. It was 25. They said, all right, cool. You, you're a notary that I had to take it to, uh, uh, I'm here in York County, so I had to take it to the county office and got and paid my $10. So for $35, I was a notary. You know, right, and then, right. Like I said, I did get your insurance. I think I did the, I did like the 25K or something like that. Uh, or the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's like another $20, $30. So I'm still less than $100 and I'm a notary and I can go ahead and start start signing. And then get your stamp too, whatever the case may be, but supplies. But I would say like you less about hundred fifty dollars when you become a notary and start your own business, like you said. So very easy to get right. into, low cost for sure. Exactly. And then how do you find your work? I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. So how do you find your business, your work? Once you, you pay the money, you you set up and already where does the business come from? Do you have to hustle and go out and sell yourself to get it or what? De depending on which route like I had I I knew where I wanted to go. But mm -hmm. if you if you just wanted to do it as like a commission notary, they have like something called general notary work. Mm -hmm. So that's like all the regular documents like um like titles, um power of attorneys, stuff like that. You know, like just you know, stuff you would take to a bank to notarize. They would just like but you have to advertise yourself. So um yeah. what you can do is so what, what I was taught was like just get get a Google business page mm -hmm. it's free yep. you don't have to do and you get that and um that way you on you on the web get some business cards they ain't got to be you know like anything you know just get you <laughs> some but you can stick in somebody's hand you know whenever whenever you can um and then um and then like just sell yourself like you know um over instagram you know like, social media stuff like that like you gotta like promote yourself that part to me was going to be hard like so, I was like, 
I don't even want to try to get it around here. And then it's this uh there's certain apps too that you can get it and they can give you leads and stuff like that. Some stuff you gotta pay for, and some stuff is free, but the work never comes. It's weird. Um like I tried a lot of stuff. Like it's uh, it's been a lot a lot of like trial and error with a lot of stuff. Um so um so yeah, so I was like I, I didn't want to do that because I, I like to listen to other people's testimonies and how they, you know, went about getting to this stuff like um because on youtube it's like really big on youtube man like it seems like a and it's big but it's not big it's crazy i don't understand <laughs> but, <laughs> so um so um do, but yeah that's do you have to pay call i'm sorry man i i got so many yeah. questions no, <laughs> no you good you good I'm I, keep my, I keep my mouth shut man <laughs> no you good it's just i'm probably just long with it because like because it, it stuff is just like it's like a cheat code, man. Like, it, it really just bothered me that how, like, like I, it's just real cheaters. But anyway, so, like, the the Thumbtack is um, an app. Like, you got to pay for it, whatever. You, you pay for leads or whatever. And it just sends you stuff, like, all day. People in different areas, stuff like that. It's kind of worth it. That one is kind of worth it. Because you just how wouldn't know. Um, they have, like, different packages. So, like, it said, like, you put, like, $50 on there. And you mm -hmm. get a lead, but they don't come all the way through. Like they'll take it out of that fifty dollars, but if it, but if you don't book it, they'll refund it. Mm. So it's yeah, so it's like a you know that type of system. It's cool. Okay. It's pretty cool. It yeah, okay. I think it's a good one. And um, I was going with that. So yeah, so you you got those things, and I just felt like that that wasn't gonna work for me because I don't know, like I in, in this area, like it was just didn't seem like a lot of that work was happening. You know, so I was like, after I got from my commission, I wanted to start to do loan signs. So that's exactly what I went after. So I just went right into like studying for that and getting um getting certified to do that. And then, you know, as I was doing that, I was, you know, um applying to all these signing services. Like it was like sign up for like a hundred plus signing services and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah. like I did it like clockwork like I get off work I, I do my thing at work get off work uh, apply to like at least five every day you know like that was like my minimum and then some days I would just be on there like for hours just you know Saturdays wake up like six just be on there you know walk around come back apply you know and um then after a while they, they start hitting you up you know and then that's how your phone just keep ringing so let me let me ask you this about the loan signing process. All right, so you find the business, you book the business, you complete the job. When when do you receive payment for that job you've done? How long does it take? It depends. It depends on how. It depends. I almost had to send an invoice today. <laughs> um, it depends on the service because they they each pay out how they pay out some pay out like right away like vendor pay and some pay uh net 30 so it's like mm -hmm. 30 days after the signing and um and it's like a those are kind of like the two you kind of got some that this pay like right away or you got some that pay like bi-weekly or weekly or something like that you know it all depends on that 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 service so if you got a bunch of them doing that then like checks you know it just keep coming, you know, you know, like every other day, or you know, what I mean, depending on how, yeah. how much yeah. out there. So, but, but I with also net thirty, saw that huh? With net thirty, do you ever worry that somebody's not going to pay, or has anyone ever not paid before? Nah, they just they just take like whenever the ones who are net thirty, they usually seem like to be the ones. That would play around too, so mm -hmm. it'd be like thirty, because it'd be like thirty, then it'd be like day thirty-one or day thirty-two, and then they'd just send you, you know, <laughs> like come on now, like stop, stop playing, <laughs> <laughs> thirty, I count thirty, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't do me like that. Like yeah. I got a call, um, like I literally got a call one from um, like like a lot of people probably know Coast to Coast, man. They be on, they oh my god, they be on it sometimes, <laughs> and um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to send them an invoice. So, uh, but they always pay them, you know. So, and and the, and the good thing about that, this business will force you to be uh, 
like efficient and like to be mm. responsible and be you know That's on top it. of that yeah, yo like like i'm That's doing like, business right like i'm like yeah. an accountant now like I, you know what i mean like i understand <laughs> like how like to make sure to not commingle funds and stuff like that like all that stuff and it's um, yeah. and it's because tools from like this this notary this notary gig like they have like this whole like bookkeeping app that's catered towards notaries and um yeah. it helps you to stay focused in and plugging into your calendar i got a whole like app so you might need to you need to drop that in no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you keep no it's phone. no app it's yeah. no app but it's a it's a, it's just online you could oh, anybody okay. can Oh, we do have a quick question though from Lady C Speaks. She said, "What's the process uh, to becoming a certified loan?" For oh, okay. Um, so after you get your commission, you get all this stuff like that. Um, there's a test. There's a test you have to take, and then you have to apply again to the state. Um, and then you do your training. You gotta do a background check and too. That's it. Yeah, back. Yeah, background check. You gotta do the back. That man's phone is blowing up, boy. You know he's making money. <laughs> <laughs> and just sometimes make, you just don't know, man, because somebody can call you and, you know, because you're business now. You're going in and out, man. My bad. I don't know what's going on. Am I good? No. You got on confidence hitting you up, man. It needs some time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Are we good? I think we're good. All right. All right. Yeah, so, yeah. I think we are too, but she had a follow up. She said that she's already a notary. She said she's already a notary. She wants to know the process to be, uh, to do loan signs. Right. Uh, that might you be what go. you're answering, but. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so you got to go, you got to, you kind of got to go back to the, so you go back to the NNA. And then um, they have like this, you know, this drop down, become a loan signer agent. And they have like the steps there, right there for you. Oh, what is going on? So um, after after you do that, then I think you got to go and apply like through, no, is that what it's wrong? No, it's just the NNA. It's just the NNA. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Have, like that spot, that slots um, for you to do. You get your, your insurance. You got to get more insurance. Now, the higher insurance you get is like, you know, like a che like another cheat code too. Like the, the more insurance you get, the more people are gonna call you mm. right out the gate because wow. um it might even increase because, mine. Yeah, because they trust they, because they trust that like if you make a mistake, you can afford it. Mm, okay. So okay. that's why they that's why they call the learn these loan signing services because um their insurance is higher. So if the notaries mess up, somebody's paying for it. Mm -hmm. So that's another okay. um. Yeah, that's something I didn't learn until after I got all my stuff. <laughs> I got you. I think we got a we got another one. Uh journey and journal of Gina. She said, Do you have to be a official resident of the state in order to do this? Um, I think you do. I think it's state by state, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's state like every state is different. Mm -hmm. So you gotta go like that's why you gotta apply through the state. Like they have a drop, uh, a, a, a lot, a laundry list of things that you can and can't do. So, um, so you go through the state. That's why you gotta go to the NNA. Then you gotta go through your state, cause they they're yeah. gonna be the one that give you the green light to 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 notarize in the in that yeah. state. And I think the NNA they kind of provide those rules for each state too. So hey, if you go to I think what's it, National Notary Association. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's the site. yeah. So you go to that site, they'll pretty much walk you through everything, even becoming a signing agent, and also what what's your state rules too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cut and dry, man. It's not. It's not a the steps. The steps are not hard. Like they just get lengthy because you know waiting on paperwork and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like, and then like during the pandemic, like it was just it was weird because a lot of you know a lot of stuff was just going on. You know, like people weren't working and stuff like that. So. um so right now it should be, you know, like your wait time shouldn't be too bad. So how long? Uh, so okay. oh, what's the, me, go ahead. I'm sorry. Let me let me address the the military members who oh, okay, go ahead. every few every few years. So 
you can have a dual commission as well. You just got to keep it up. Now, which pairs you can do, I don't know <laughs> if that's a thing, like if it's certain pairs, but um, I know it is something that is like a dual membership, I mean, um, commission, and then you can. Am I I'm losing my back? Man. I don't know. Like, I ain't got another call. Can y'all hear me? We got an iPhone 6. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just like I'm on like 2 to 6. Uh, right. Am I back? Are y'all good? Can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I can hear you okay, now. Okay. Yeah, man, like they cut the power out, man. And I and not, everything is almost dead, dying. It's just dying, <laughs> <laughs> and they just turned back on. But it's all good. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, you can get a, um, you can be commissioned in more than one state. Gotcha. So, hmm. um, do you do this full time now, or? Uh, this is going to be. It's definitely going to be okay. soon. Uh, uh, I just have to. Work. I'm working the plan that I that I have in in you know for myself, and it's you know it's working. You know, like God is definitely like placing you know blocks for me to you know step on. Yeah. So um, the, like getting a run was uh, you know was a block for me to you know jump to. Mm -hmm. So um, because I I have that for supplemental. Then after you know I do that, I have a plan to uh, get my home inspection license. So like I want to be able to be appointment based on everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got you. That's smart. Uh, and look at Pat comment, man. What is it? With the roll, with the with the ball, yeah, the roll in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I had that <laughs> yeah. Yo, I remember the Blackbird, the Blackbird Storm was popular back back then in uh, 2011. That was real yeah, popular. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's when Drake made it. That's when Drake made it nice. <laughs> hey, um, and, 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 uh, got got a question. Um. Uh -huh. So you mentioned earlier on. You said you said something about stocks, and you actually got stocks in your shirt. So. Um, oh what yeah. That's what. I wear this shirt, man, because it's, it's, it's. I wear this shirt because I want the message to be to, to be to get through through our thick skulls that the lottery is the devil. <laughs> <laughs> the stock market is way better than in the than the lottery. Your your guaranteed returns if you read a little bit about a stock and just buy it every time you want to gamble. Throw a little bit in there. Fractional shares, right there. You're going to see some gains. So what's the connection for you? Is there a connection between stocks and uh, loan signing notary? Um, in a way, it is because it, it, it allowed me to make my, my the business that I have valuable on an asset level, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. So... What having a business allowed me to do is to let my my business hold investments. So I hold investments as myself, and my business holds investments. So these two things, you know, what I'm saying like I'm, I'm I'm trying to build like wealth. So once my business is you know accumulating wealth, you know, through the stock market and holding assets and stuff like that. Like I'm growing it outside with the the revenue, and so like I'm, you know, funding those those assets that you know that that portfolio holds, and then I'm doing the same thing with uh, you know the funds I make from like my nine to five and you know other notary stuff, and so allow like that business allow me to have more assets as a person. And it makes, you know, like the, the wealth side of it. And now when I get to a point where I don't want to do this anymore, I can ha I can hand this, this asset down to my daughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when she has her own, um, uh, 
uh, one that I'm managing right now. She has her own portfolio that I'm managing right now. So <clears throat> awesome. once these things, you know, get to a point, they're going to fall to the next generation. Like, mm -hmm. so my whole thing is with, with building these, with becoming an entrepreneur and becoming like um, appointment based, it's, a, it's, it's to, to capture back the real currency, which is time. Facts, yeah. So the more, the harder you work for money, the less you make of it. You know, <laughs> and it, like, a, it, it's it's crazy that, it's crazy that that's true, mm -hmm. but it is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a lot of people who make a lot of money don't work super hard. Yeah, mm -hmm. they know they know a lot of they know a lot of the right people, and and they're like they per, they perfected a certain craft, you know something, and they solved the problem for somebody, and they got rich from it. Uh, so yeah. yeah, so um, so that's how it ties to the um, for me that's how I tie it to in, investing and stuff like that. So I can I can study a business and apply the biz the the stuff that I'm studying. To the business that I'm running to see how I can be efficient, how I can save time. Like I got Amazon Prime for the, you know, like like the benefit of having Prime was mm -hmm. was head, was way better than me not having Prime. Mm -hmm. so, right. Yeah. So let's so say I'm somebody in um in Virginia or, or one of the states where you can do everything online, like you mentioned. I forgot the terminology you mm -hmm. used, but um, I'm oh, watching right. this, huh? It's called a Ron, remote Ron. Ron yeah. So I'm watching this right here, and um, you introduced the uh, notary loan signing profession to them. So oh, I, w I really want to do this. So they uh, they get started, they go through the process, they get their commission uh, license or whatever they need to get started. Uh -huh. Now they just got to get some business. Um, and this right. is somebody that doesn't work. So uh, let's say they grind for like 30 days. What's a realistic expectation of uh, how much money could they make like within the next two months or so? If it's somebody that has mm. your work ethic, uh, same work ethic that you have for grinding and getting stuff done. Um, it's it's funny, man, because it could like for certain people in certain areas, man, it's it's hard to mm. be accurate with that with that you know with that number. You know what I mean? But mm. um. Yeah. I do think you can get work within within thirty days, okay. you know, from mm -hmm. from anything, you know, because I was just I was literally at my job, and um, I was like going in the office. They was like, "Hey, hold on." They was like, "That's the dude you need to see." And um, it was like I was like, "What? what Y'all talking about? You know what I mean?" <laughs> and um, <laughs> about to get fired, <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? Well, 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 need to see me. <laughs> so, um, he was like, "Yeah, man." He was like, "You a notary, right? I need to, I need to sign. I, I need to get it something notarized." I was like, "Yeah, I got you." He was like, "I got it right here." I was like, "Hmm." Where my stamp? Well, I got my. You know, we know we got to touch up here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I had my stamp on me. You know, like you should always carry a stamp as a notary. Like that's something that I, I realized. But I had my stamp, and I did it at work. He was like, "Oh, thanks, man. Here's the extra five dollars. Thanks." Mm. All cash. You know, so yeah. um, be quick as that, or you know, you can you know you can sign up to be you know um, a loan sign agent, and you know they could just start hitting you up. You know, like you might be the like a bunch of people might be sick, and you mm -hmm. might be the one that's available. You know, so they really don't care. They want to get that document, those document signed. They don't care who it is. You know, you just got to be available. So just make like the prep work is is most of the the, the the work man like that's all it is like the prep work is is the aggravating part because you're not getting work and you're doing all this prepping and like applying and doing all this stuff studying and stuff like that but um it just pays off man and then like the industry man the industry is you know the housing the housing market so it's tough. It's tough to answer that question with like a certain number. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got you. Got you. It is. It does vary. So, so, what's the typical loan okay. that you that you that you do? Is it just all all housing? I mean, right now I'm pretty sure it's probably like the most majority with housing market right now. But do you get anything else? Yeah, it's um. Uh, I did some seller, uh, seller packet, um. Uh, 
I did a HELOC. HELOCs are like the best. Um, mm -hmm. And then refi, mm -hmm. that's the most. Yeah. The refi is um, the one that I've, I've done the most. And I've literally had to go get one signature, like one time, <laughs> like literally like <laughs> one page. Yeah. I said, hey, man, I need to get this jug. I think I said, I said, I think I said that, that message uh, to you. And, yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. That, that was crazy. I was like, it was like late too, like around like eight, something like that. I was like, yeah, man. This, I was like, yeah, I'll do that dog. I ain't doing nothing nowhere. <laughs> Let's go. And let me ask you this. Yeah. So let's use the the HELOC for example. Do you have to read the entire uh, contract, or do you just go sign it? Uh, what's that process like? No, nah, the what the notary is there is to, to make sure the person signing the document mm -hmm. is the person signing the document. Mm -hmm. We okay. don't give uh, no details of any document. You know, mm -hmm. like you can give general stuff, like this is where your such and such is mm -hmm. on the document, and. This is what this means, this document, this is what it's, you know, saying, but you can't disclose any numbers or anything like that. Yeah. Just, like you're not unless you're a lawyer or something like that. Okay. Yeah, you literally just sit there, watch them sign, stamp, sit there, watch them sign, stamp, figure you out today. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So I got a follow up question to that. So you talk about mm -hmm. the um the insurance, and the more insurance you have, the more people will reach out to you. What kind of mistakes can you make if, if it's, it seems like a simple process, you both just explained it. What kind of mistakes can you make that you got to get a lot of insurance for this? Bad stamp or you wrong date, mm -hmm. uh, missed signature. That's like the most common, like missed signature on certain documents. Uh, like the signature affidavit. Oh my goodness. This junk is stupid. Like, <laughs> oh, it's dumb. Oh my goodness. So, um, they like so. This is a document, like signature affidavit. They have this document, so they have a bunch of names on there. If you've ever used those names in the, in in your life, and you have to sign by those names, but if you didn't use it, you got to say you got you got you have to remember to tell them to put never known as, or they will kick that back. Be like. This ain't right. You'd be like, but that wasn't him. Like, I, why would I sign something mm. if I never use that name? You know. So that's the, that's the first thing that happened to me. I was just like, what? Well, like, how is this wrong? Like, I don't understand. So, but you call them and stuff like that. Like, and it's also better to call. Like, you get confused or something like that, you just call them and and they'll tell you. They rather for you get it right the first time than it be a mess up. But that's that's it. Like stuff like that. And it, it, the reason you gotta have insurance because like. These these doc these these papers you sign are worth like twenty k like like two hundred fifty k you know like a yeah. hundred fifty k you know what I mean like it's a lot of money on these documents. Yeah, you so can mess, you up, mess up you mess up the deal. Yeah, because I did one. I think the yeah. house was like five hundred k. I messed that up, and it was like short time. You messed that up. It's a, that's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, you might not. Yeah. You might... yeah, she was selling the house for like five, and and it I was know, like they. Not... they yeah, if you especially yeah, so you have to go back and do that over, or if that deal don't go through, yeah, that's on. They coming at you then. They made it, they made so you good a representation. They don't, they don't even care. You say how? No, so I guess you build a reputation. If you mess up something like that, that's gonna follow you. Is that correct? Yeah, it's yeah, and and it's something past because you can get like knocks or dings on your commission. Now I don't know like the specifics but i just heard that that's a you know like that can happen i don't i don't have any i don't know if i have any yet i, I don't think i do i've been good i've been smooth because like with the the on, on the on ron the ron no I, I messed up you know once i think and i think it was the signature affidavit and i was like yo what is this this don't make sense so uh but they just sent it back and then um you fix it whatever and they just you know, some people, but some people mess up on certain things and then like they don't, you know, like that service won't call you back. It's not like you're done for, you know, like you yeah. got to just keep messing up to be done for. So this is something that you have to have a passion for. You got to be a hustler. You can't just be lazy and do this. Right. Is that right? 
I agree. I definitely agree with that. But the work is easy. Like everything before you get to the signing table is 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 is, is the is the most work. You know, like because I prep my dots. Like I don't have like a a a, a dual tray. Hopefully nobody ain't watching this. Thing. <laughs> need to be watched. But like I use a single tray. Uh, don't say nothing uh, that's gonna hurt you, man. <laughs> so I use a sing I use a single tray, whatever, but um this document can split the um the legal size paper and the letter paper. So I do that, but it helps me to prep it so mm -hmm. I don't miss certain pages to get um to be notarized or to get signed. And then like while I'm doing that, I just go ahead and I just pre write everything everything in, like if it's like a, a jurat or if it's an acknowledgement. And you just go ahead and fill in the the county and all the stuff like that. And so when I get to the the um, the signing, all I'm doing is hit my stamp. And then when I get to UPS or FedEx, I'm just thumbing through it to make sure I, I didn't miss anything. And then I sign and then I send it off. So it's like really okay. all in prep. You know. If your prep game weak, man, you suck. Because it's like <laughs> it's like a basketball game, man. You can't you can't not be hyped. At the prep rally. <laughs> the at the prep rally, y'all lost, man. And y'all lose. I feel you on that. Probably about 30. It's like Raymond Film coming to town. You know, the pet rally going to be all quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Back in the day, yeah. <laughs> right. He's going to drop by 20 or 30. Yeah. Couple you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody crying. Talking about how good they killed. They killed everybody. But anyway. But yeah, um, yeah, you definitely got to have a... Um, you just gotta have a good work ethic, man. You ain't gotta be passionate about this. It's um, at the end of the day, it's just a service that you're providing to the community. So okay, yeah, and so, also so open man, doors. Gotta... I'm sorry, man. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> oh, a you good? So it, it ain't natural. Right. <laughs> Let people finish. <laughs> no, nah, you good? I'm just trying to open some doors too, man. <laughs> So you got a you got a YouTube page where you talk about uh, I subscribe I'm a subscriber by the way I just subscribed so tell people how they can find you on YouTube man I'm I'm not sure if you can tap in the comments or not but uh let them know um yeah I don't know. uh yeah definitely um YouTube the bridge to financial literacy that's something I'm very passionate about um uh, and I feel like um uh, finding this notary stuff was kind of you know like a I guess fulfilling some of that prophecy of the, you know, just being a bridge. Like I don't, I don't know everything. I just want to be the bridge and get somebody to knowing, you know, what they need to know and stuff like that to build, to build wealth, mm -hmm. you know, and just understand like, like financial literacy, man, because it's so important, man. It's so important, and um, it's something that should be implemented at a very early age. You know, it, it shouldn't be, we shouldn't be trying to. Uh, survive all the time you know what i mean it got to be a point yeah. where you get over get out of this survival mentality yeah and mm -hmm. i feel like a lot you know a lot of us you know have you know have to get you know have to be in that that space you know but um it just makes it it just keeps us from our future because we can't get to the point where we invest in in our future we're just sitting you know back trying to just trying to make it to the next day, man. Just trying to make it to the next day. You know? Yeah. The whole that's good, topic. Man. <laughs> oh, that's good. So they can go. To, they can click yeah. on the link in your bio, your Instagram, and get to your YouTube page. Yeah, yeah. You click on the link in the bio. Um, uh, yeah, that's about. Yeah, that's about it. I think I have on Facebook and yeah, definitely Instagram. I think it's I got a Twitter, but I'm I'm really not on Twitter like that. I don't understand it. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yeah, say it, man. Yeah. I got so bad. I, I know you're running up on time, man, but I just want to say, like, what's your crazy, craziest moment that you had at a notary signing so far? Um, let's see. All right, so I got this. I got this. Uh, so these campaigners came. They had from the election. These campaigners came, and um, they knock on my door. Boom, boom, boom. So you knock on the door, and it's this um like a democratic lady whatever so um she's running stuff like that she's like oh we had a conversation she's like oh i like him let's get your information and stuff like that i was like yeah let's do it whatever all right so <laughs> as a little time passed i get a, <laughs> I, get a I get a call i, I get a, i get a um 
I get an assignment to do a refi, and I was like, all right, yeah, yeah they do this jump. It's um, it's a, it's it's across the way, but it was like they gonna come across the way, um. And uh, when I say cross the way, it was a bridge. It's a and I had to pay a toll. And I was like, man, I wasn't trying to pay this toll this time. So, <laughs> so they was coming across. Here. I was like, bet, let's go to Starbucks, right? It was in the morning. Yeah. So I go to Starbucks. It's them. Like it's the the campaigner people. It's her and her husband. Mm -hmm. So I see. I'm like, oh hey, what's up? She's like, hey, we not see you. It's EK. And so um, I see her. We go in there. So I get to the door. They close like the inside. Oh man! Is closed. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, what I tell you? <laughs> what I right. tell you? It was so hot. We had to do the signing in the heat, in the heat, in the top. I ain't never been this hot a day in my. I'm talking about it was sweat was on the dripping right, on man. the water on the paper. Yeah, I'm just like. <laughs> She, the lady, because <laughs> you know, you get in your bed, you don't even know. It's just like, a, and it's like, oh snap! And you can't wipe it off because it's water, like it got on. Yeah, you. yeah. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> the lady had me, and she had me a napkin. She digging her. She was like, "Here, baby." I'm just like, "I'm so sorry." <laughs> hey. This place was supposed to be open, man. It was like nine o'clock a.m. Like you, a Starbucks. Oh yeah, supposed Starbucks. To be open. Yeah, definitely be open. Yeah. Oh man, that wow. was terrible. It was it was so funny though. Hopefully but I end up meeting like, huh? Hopefully you don't have to do that again. Oh, I'll never do that again. <laughs> We're not going to Starbucks. We can go, we can go to Target or some somebody else. We go to Walmart. <laughs> we can stand there. <laughs> I'm not doing. I'm not doing it no more. That <laughs> was hot. Oh my god, I've been to YouTube about it. <laughs> I got you. Oh man, man. Any, yeah. Any, any, any final words, man? Any final words you want to get to uh, Final words. Books, uh, or whatever, books or whatever. Anything you want to definitely share? Definitely go, uh, go for your dreams. Um, like, incremental goals make a, uh, make a difference. Um, uh, I don't know. You got to listen to what puts light in you. You know, what's going to spark something. Like, make sure you get enough of that inside of you. And, um, and invest in yourself and it's some type of asset and look into the meta the, what is the meta universe because we've been talking about we've been behind the curve and left behind the meta universe is a, a huge opportunity for us to get some wealth there's a lot of stuff for you to invest in there and tesla if you don't understand <laughs> what they're doing <laughs> I knew he was coming back to it. I knew it. I, knew it. <laughs> I seen him drop the Tesla on his YouTube page, too. Man, <laughs> I met a spokesman for Tesla, man. man. Tesla. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just they're visionaries, man. Like, they, they understand a lot of stuff, man. They're solving a lot of issues, man. And a lot of stuff, like, they're, they're throwing up satellites that's going to blanket the earth so they'll have internet going to rural places hmm. well, so, you know what i'm saying yeah. like yeah we definitely know they're definitely doing stuff like that. yeah you know this stuff is crazy he just put they just put people in the in space through starlink i mean through like the starship this stuff is spacex this stuff is crazy i don't know man but I, I just, I just think like the, like, what they're doing is, it's like a, a path to where people should be investing and stuff. Like when it comes to like, you know, solar energy and stuff like that, you know, autonomous vehicles, all this stuff like that. Um, yeah, uh, that's that's all I got, man. And um, I don't know, be thankful. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Just be. It's thankful. I don't know. Like I'm just like really thankful and, and grateful, and I feel like um, that stuff is infectious, and people bounce off of that stuff. So. Good stuff, man. Real good stuff, man. You're a very smart guy, man. Real, real good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah. man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.
So go okay. to okay catching up. That's right. Go to the Bridge of Financial Literacy on YouTube. You can go to um, uh, EK Chuku or Go High's uh, Instagram page and um, look them up. I've been Q. He's been T.O. He's been EK, and we're out. <laughs> All right, folks. Hold it down, man. All right, so be easy. <laughs>